Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at Google Chrome and compare it against Microsoft Edge and see which particular internet browser is a better one for you. Now, there's pros and cons for both. I will start off with Google Chrome and then get into Microsoft Edge. Number one, Google Chrome is kind of that tried and true multi-platform, you know, internet browser that a lot of internet browsers try to be like even new ones coming out, Google Chrome is basically the true tried and true one that a lot of people have been using. Now within Google Chrome, there's a humongous ecosystem and a massive community behind this, you know, internet browser. There's tons of extensions. There's a bunch of add-ons. There's a lot of things that you can do within Google Chrome and it just like seamlessly blends in into your experience. A really cool thing too is because it's so cross-platform and so widely adopted, if you log into your Gmail account, you can access everything across your platform from other devices. That's a massive advantage for something like Google Chrome. You can basically go through and log into Google, you know, your Google account, and you can get all your bookmarks, favorites, libraries, all those things, you know, from one particular platform to another. And that's a very, very convenient thing to basically be able to experience. There's lots of updates. There's lots of security patches that come out and it's not really supposed to be like all up in your face. Like it's a, supposed to be a minimalistic type of internet browser. On the flip side with Microsoft Edge, there's a couple of advantages for this particular, you know, web browser. Number one, it is kind of focused more on performance, right? It's focused more on battery life and kind of minimizing the amount of like background processes your internet browser needs. It's already built into almost every single, you know, Windows PC out there. So as soon as you log into Windows, you're going to be able to get Microsoft Edge on it. So it's specifically designed to not take up as much CPU and less battery life compared to Chrome, for example. It's also supposed to be easily blending in inside of Microsoft Windows. So, you know, if you're trying to go through and, you know, kind of get a adopted Windows interface, Microsoft Edge is the one that's built by Microsoft. So, you know, if you really want to kind of have the full Microsoft experience, then, you know, you can use Edge. There's a lot of different features already built in in Edge as well. Like I love their uh, PDF, you know, uh, option, which you can view PDFs and stuff. That's really cool. Even if you use Chrome, I would still probably recommend using Microsoft Edge for PDF viewing and stuff because it's actually really good. And because it's built in, it can build, you know, there's a lot of cool advantages for Microsoft Edge, but there are trade-offs and disadvantages for both. Chrome, some of the disadvantages, number one, it is very heavy, you know, in terms of memory usage. It takes a lot more power and performance, and that can be kind of an issue. Edge, I would say it's just not widely as widely adopted compared to Chrome. And I love the interface I can have within Chrome because it looks much cleaner in my personal opinion than Microsoft Edge. So in my personal opinion, I kind of think that Chrome is the one I would still probably recommend using, but I, like that's the one I have personally on my Windows PC, but I really do like Microsoft Edge as well. I think it's a really good option. And if I'm in the market and I'm going to go, you know, use the internet browser, I still think something like Microsoft Edge is totally fine if you've never used a web browser before, but Chrome is probably the one I'd recommend most, most people to probably get into. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.